Desi, here we are, Premier League Media Day in Cardiff. Does, does it all feel real again now that, that darts in sport is back? Yeah, definitely. I mean, missing out on this competition last year, you know, that hurt. Especially having to sit home a couple of times. I didn't watch much of it, I watched a little bit and it was it was tough. But nice to be back playing in Cardiff and nice to be back in the Premier League as well. Do you keep telling Johnny that you only won it last year because you weren't in it? I did, you know, maybe 12 <laughs> months ago. But I think, you know, he's proven a deserved winner now. But yeah, hopefully he can stay in Wales but just come to my house are you super excited about tomorrow just playing in that arena downstairs in front of your, your home fans your home nation Does, doesn't it happen once a year yeah exactly and it's a pity really that it doesn't happen oh, a lot more often in, in Wales but yeah it's always nice to come to Cardiff come to Wales and get the support that I get and it's what Johnny's going to get but yeah really looking forward to it. it's, it's the best not just because it's Cardiff but it is the venue with the best atmosphere the English boys in for a rough night tomorrow I hope not. I hope it's a fair game. I hope they probably will get a little bit of it, but I, I'm sure they won't get as much as I get. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's almost impossible. Yeah, yeah. Just just looking at the Premier League in high, what's your thoughts on the, the, the structure of it now and the fact it's been changed to every game matters? And Is that something that excites you? Yeah, it's, it's different. It's different but the same. If you, In one way, it's different for the Premier League, but it's sort of the same as what goes on the rest of the year. So, you know, it's just uh, from the quarterfinals on, and usually that's when I find my best stuff. So, hopefully, from the quarterfinals on in every one of these tournaments, uh, one of these nights, then I'll be playing some of my best stuff. You were very critical of unicorn boards in the past, so I'm guessing that you were over the moon when the news came that tomorrow you're going to be playing on one of those shiny new Blade 6 triple cores. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Wink, Wimmo have been the best board supplier for, for years and it's just, I wonder why they haven't been well, part of the PDC sooner, but it's nice now that they are there. You know, I practice on, on the Wimmo board and yeah, it's uh, definitely the best board out there and definitely a good choice by PDC and chuffed for, for Wimmo and everyone involved. Was that one of the frustrations, the fact that you guys are elite sportsmen at the very best, but you weren't playing on elite equipment? Yeah, you know, we, uh, we're professionals and we're at the highest levels. We need, we need the highest level board, you know, we need the, the best boards out there and Wimmo, Blade 5, Blade 6, they are the best boards out there. Just looking at the last year, we've obviously we got to spend a good two and a half hours chatting on the train going, going to Salzburg and we were chatting about some stuff like that. How would you assess last year? Because it was difficult, obviously, half behind closed doors, half not, not didn't know whether you were coming or going from tournament to tournament. How would you assess that? Yeah, I think from, from the word go, really, when I was obviously not involved in this competition because of Covid and then sort of put you on a back foot from day one and trying to find form then in, in, in pro tours and, and obviously only having two Europeans so there weren't really many darts early on to try and find your feet obviously Premier League's the, the main part of that and playing against the best week in week out then you're, you're flying when you come into tournaments but yeah it took me a while to get going and towards the back end of the year I started playing some decent stuff but nowhere near where I was the year before. Do you feel when I much better position to start the year this year than what you did obviously last year then? Yeah, definitely. I know I needed to, needed the, you know, the Masters last week to just blow some cobwebs off. I hardly picked my darts up in January. You know, I had exhibitions that were cancelled, which I was expecting to be my practice practice time. And I'm not a biggest of practices when I'm at home on my own. Like I can't just stand by the board for hours. So I rely on game and match time to be my practice time. And yeah, as long as I'm when these tournaments like now Premier League week in week out, that's when I'll find my best game. Looking at the rest of the year, obviously you've won the biggest one in, in the sport in the, in the world but it's it time to tick off some of the other ones like the, the match plays and things like that as well they? yeah it's definitely I, I, I think I've reached the final of the, of the UK Open missed out on that that was probably one of the first majors I got to a final lost to Peter Wright so I want to try and win that one have a good run in the match play which for some reason I never <laughs> seem to do but yeah I have a good run there and I just win tournaments that, that I haven't won before and try and tick those off but also still defend the Grand Slam I'm not sure if they're going to keep it in uh 
Wolverhampton, which I hope they do because I've never lost in, say, in that venue. That, that, but there's talks of it going yeah. to like Newcastle or somewhere different, which I hope they don't. But you know, I just want to try and defend that tournament and try and win that for the fourth time. But yeah, obviously the world is miles away. There's loads of events and things that are going to happen up to December, but that's always on the back of your mind, the one at the end of the year. At times last year, did you maybe put too much pressure on yourself in these TV tournaments? Yeah, but like I said, I wasn't playing as much as I'd like to have, even especially going into the Grand Slam, even though I won. I decided to take time out off the Pro Tours, that, that last Super Series, which during the Grand Slam I thought probably was the wrong decision because I weren't playing well. But as soon as I get the quarterfinals, then I somehow find my feet and find my A game. But yeah, I just need to be playing a lot more. What's life been like away from the board off the Gezi after the, the last 18 months that, that it's been? Obviously, we've seen you with your other business projects and, and whatever, but, but what's, it, what's it like trying to juggle? all these other businesses with being the, the pressure back player no it's, it's good like it's, it's good for me anyway it might not work for everybody but you know there's only so much you can think about darts play darts and you know if you have darts on your mind constantly which you know it doesn't help when everywhere I go someone wants to talk to you about darts and I'm like I just want to have a tattoo don't talk darts and I don't mind but it's everywhere you go but it's, it's what I was expected but yeah I love doing the property I love getting my hands dirty I love getting involved and you know you sometimes I have deliveries come if I'm doing a property out and people are like can't believe that I'm on tools but yeah. that's me I, I, I love to play darts but I like to keep my hands uh, in, in the dirty work as well and obviously like you say there that you get a lot of lot of stick but the people that know you that you'll stop and for a picture with, with anyone and you'll speak to anyone but people don't see that do they? No exactly yeah they see the way I am on stage which is not to everybody's taste but, but by all means you know but I'm up there to do a job and, and to win and do the best I can, but come and have a chat to me off the board, and and then and then make a decision on uh, what you think about me. Do you think the documentary that ITV did changed people's opinions of you because it came across so so well, and we got to see a different side of you? Do you think that helps? Yeah, definitely. Certainly, things like that help where you see where the, my background, where I've come from, where I want to go, why I play the way I do, and if I don't play that way, there's certain things that happen. But yeah, I'm not up there to want everybody to hate me. I'm up there to earn a living, and sometimes. It's, it's tough to get up there and earn a living the way things go. Guys, it's an absolute pleasure talking to you Cardiff. Thanks Sorry. very much. Cheers, Phil.